Will lifting weights make you bulky? This is a fear many women have when they consider weightlifting, the fear that even touching the weights will instantly turn you into the Hulk. Let me tell you right here and now that this fear is unfounded. No matter how often you lift and how hard you train, as a woman, you'll have a difficult time getting bulky. And in this video, I'm going to explain you why. But before I can explain to you why weightlifting will not make you bulky, we have to clarify what we actually mean when we're talking about getting bulky. In my opinion, bulky can mean two different things. First, it can mean that you look massive, but you lack definition. That's when you have a lot of muscle mass, but also a lot of fat covering it. The other form of bulky is when you look like a bodybuilder. So you have a lot of muscle mass, but very little body fat. That means you can see every single muscle and it gives you that very huge and Hulk-like physique. And the common denominator of these two forms of bulky are that you have a lot of muscle mass. And that's why many women tend to avoid weightlifting because they fear that lifting weights will give them huge amounts of muscle mass and will make them look bulky. And that's also why many of these women chase this toned look instead. And I expressed my dislike for the word toned in another video already, but basically what we mean when we're talking about getting toned is that you have a defined physique. So you see some edges and some muscle lines. So how do you get toned then? Well, first of all, you need to have quite a bit of muscle mass to have something that you can show off. And secondly, you need to be lean enough to see that muscle definition. However, you also don't want to be too lean because then we would enter bodybuilding territory. So being toned and being bulky aren't so different after all, because you need to have quite some muscle mass for both of them. So the only difference between being a bodybuilder, being toned and being bulky is essentially your body fat percentage. So it doesn't have anything to do with training. On the contrary, because you need to have a fair amount of muscle mass also to get toned, cardio alone won't do the trick. You need to lift weights or do some other form of resistance training in order to put on muscle mass to get that defined look that you're after. But still, many women fear that they'll put on too much muscle mass if they start lifting weights. Well, let me just stop you right there and tell you that gaining muscle mass is actually a lot harder than you might think. How fast muscles actually grow is highly individual and will depend on several factors such as your age, your gender, your genetic background, but also your previous training experience. As a rule of thumb, women can expect to gain around half a kilogram of muscle mass per month and that will make around six kilograms in total in their first year of training. And while that might seem a lot, there are two things that you have to consider. The first thing is that this six kilograms of muscle mass that you can potentially gain within your first year will be distributed over your whole body. So it's not like you gain six kilograms of muscle mass in your biceps, but rather there will be some muscle mass you put on in your legs, some in your arms, some in your back and your core, etc. So actually it probably won't be noticeable that much. And the second thing that you need to consider is that muscle mass is a lot denser than fat tissue. So if you exchange six kilograms of fat tissue with six kilograms of muscle tissue, the volume will be much smaller, meaning that you can't put on weight by adding muscle mass to your frame, but still fit into your normal clothes. And another thing you need to know is that you won't continue to gain six kilograms of muscle mass year after year because it becomes progressively more difficult to increase lean muscle mass as one gains training experience. So that means in the first year you might gain six kilograms, but in the second year you might only gain four kilograms. And then the year after it might be only three kilograms. So to actually put on a huge amount of muscle mass, you need to be training consistently over years. You also need to train smart and you need to train hard. So you need to train close to, if not to failure. And another thing is that in order to put on muscle mass and to put on a lot of it, you need to eat in a caloric surplus or at least at maintenance calories. So what I'm trying to tell you is it's definitely not impossible that you get bulky from weightlifting. However, it will definitely not happen overnight and it requires a lot of effort. And because it's such a slow process, if you think that this is enough muscle mass now, you can always stop and just maintain what you have, but not add any more muscle mass. But 
apart from getting that defined look that you want, weightlifting and the increase in muscle mass that comes with it also have other benefits for your physical and mental health. So the most obvious change is when you have more muscle mass, you're also getting stronger. And that means that you are more independent. For example, you don't need to ask anyone else anymore to carry your groceries. Another benefit of having more muscle mass is that you burn more calories even at rest because muscle tissue is metabolically more active than fat tissue. That means one kilogram of muscle mass burns more calories at rest than one kilogram of fat tissue. So if you have more muscle mass, even just sitting on the couch and watching Netflix will burn more calories. Other health benefits of weightlifting as a sport include reducing the risk for cardiovascular diseases such as heart attacks and strokes. A further benefit of lifting weights is that you increase your bone mineral density, which can prevent osteoporosis, especially as you get older and reach menopause. As you can see, lifting weights will bring you closer to that defined physique that you're after, and it also has some additional benefits. And before I conclude this video, I also wanted to add my own personal opinion to this whole thing about getting bulky. What I would like you to do is to ask yourselves how you want to look, but more importantly, why you want to look a certain way. And the reason why I want you to think about this is because it makes a huge difference if you yourself decide that you don't want to look bulky or if you think that you cannot look that way because society tells you it's not feminine. But there's no definition of what feminine looks like. There have been many different and often contradictory beauty ideals over the past decades. So these beauty ideals change all the time and if you chase these artificially constructed beauty ideals, you'll never be happy because as soon as you reach your ideal physique, the beauty ideal will change. And so you'd have to change again. And then once you reach that new beauty ideal, another one will come up. And that's why I'm a strong proponent of you doing what's best for you. And you should look the way that you want to look because you are the person living in your body for the rest of your life. So you'd rather make yourself comfortable. So if you want to get started with weightlifting, if you want to put on some muscle mass for whatever reason, then just do it. You have to be happy with your body and your decisions and with your life, no one else. So don't let anyone else tell you how you should look because that's your decision and yours only. But that was it for today. If after watching this video, you decide you want to get started with weightlifting, but you don't know where, then watch these two videos next as they will tell you everything that you need Need to know in order to get started in the gym. But before you do that, please leave me a like on this video. Also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I see you in the next video. Bye!